Trial 1. Radius, 1 meter, angle, 30 degrees. After converting 30 degrees to radians and plugging the values into the formula, we get, theta equals 0.524 radians, arc length equals 0.524 meters. Trial 2. Radius, 1 meter, angle, 45 degrees, theta equals 0.785 radians, arc length equals 0.785 meters. Trial 3. Radius, 1.5 meters, angle, 60 degrees, theta equals 1.047 radians, arc length equals 1.571 meters. Trial 4. Radius, 2 meters, angle, 90 degrees. And finally, theta equals 1.571 radians, arc length equals 3.142 meters. Let knowledge flow like a river, without any hindrance. Don't make it like a stagnant pool. Hey Excel enthusiasts! I am P.S. Chaturji and welcome back to my channel. Today, we're diving into the world of Excel's trigonometric functions, sine, cos, tan, a sine, a cos, and a tan. Ever found yourself wrestling with complex calculations? These functions are your secret weapons to streamline your work and save precious time. By the end of this video, you'll be a pro at using these functions to solve real-world problems. To showcase these functions, we've crafted a dynamic dashboard. It utilizes techniques like, pie chart for radian calculation, scatter chart for trigonometric functions, drop-down menus, Excel logic, and conditional formatting. We'll be exploring conditional formatting in a future video. Whether you're a seasoned Excel user or just starting out, this video is for you. So, buckle up and get ready to elevate your Excel skills. Before diving into the depths of trigonometry, let's take a moment to understand two key concepts, relationship between degrees and radians. And what is trigonometry? In everyday scenarios, we measure angles using instruments like protractors, theodolites, or total stations. These tools give us angular measurements in degrees, a unit most of us are familiar with and easy to interpret. But when it's time to crunch numbers whether you're calculating horizontal or vertical distances, or finding the arc length of a curve you'll often need to switch to radians. Now, here's an interesting paradox, while degrees can be directly measured, radians can't. They must be calculated, acting as the bridge between practical measurement and theoretical applications. Unlike degrees, radians are directly tied to the geometry of a circle. Now we are going to take a look on trigonometry, the word trigonometry comes from the Greek words trigonon meaning triangle and metria meaning measurement. Simply put, trigonometry is the study of the relationships between the sides and angles of triangles. Here's a magical insight, if you know the value of just one acute angle and the length of one side in a right-angled triangle, you can use trigonometric ratios like sine, cosine, and tangent to uncover the lengths of the other two sides. It's like solving a puzzle with numbers and angles as the pieces. Trigonometry isn't just theoretical it's incredibly practical. It's used in physics, engineering, surveying, navigation, and even in the analysis of waves and oscillations. So, let's begin our journey into trigonometry with Excel and discover how powerful these tools can be. We'll kick things off with the concept of radian and degree. 
And remember, if you have any questions about trigonometric functions, feel free to drop a comment. I'm here to help. If you find this video helpful, please like, share, and subscribe for more Excel insights. Hit that notification bell to stay updated. Let's embark on this trigonometric journey together. Enjoy the video. Alright, let's dive deeper. When we select radians from the drop-down, we're essentially defining a unit of angle measurement. A radian is a specific angle, visualized as the angle subtended at the center of a circle by an arc equal in length to the radius. Look at the circle diagram. The red arc represents this angle. The length of this arc, AR, is related to the radius, R, and the internal angle, theta, by the formula. AR equals R into theta. However, remember, we're used to measuring angles in degrees. To use this formula, we need to convert degrees to radians. The conversion factor is radians equals degrees into pi by 180. Now, let's break down the table. Radius, our input the radius of the circle here, in any unit of length, example meters, centimeters. Internal angle, theta enter the angle in degrees. Theta, in radian, Excel will automatically convert the degrees to radians using the formula mentioned earlier. Arc length, AR the formula AR equals R into theta will calculate the arc length, where theta is now in radians. Let's put this into action with some real world examples. Trial 1. Radius, 1 meter, angle, 30 degrees. After converting 30 degrees to radians and plugging the values into the formula, we get theta equals 0.524 radians, arc length equals 0.524 meters. Trial 2. Radius, 1 meter, angle, 45 degrees, theta equals 0.785 radians, Arc length equals 0.785 meters. Trial 3. Radius, 1.5 meters, angle, 60 degrees, theta equals 1.047 radians, arc length equals 1.571 meters. Trial 4. Radius, 2 meters, angle, 90 degrees. And finally, theta equals 1.571 radians, arc length equals 3.142 meters. As you can see, by understanding the concept of radians and using the formula, we can accurately calculate arc lengths for various scenarios. This knowledge is essential in fields like engineering, physics, and computer graphics. Let's move to the trigonometry sheet by scrolling down. By the help of drop-down menu, I am changing the topic from radian to trigonometry. Trigonometry is a branch of mathematics that studies the relationships between the angles and sides of triangles. It focuses primarily on right-angled triangles and involves functions such as sine, cosine, and tangent, which relate the angles of a triangle to the ratios of its sides. Let's dive deeper into trigonometry. To refresh our memory, remember this mnemonic, some people have curly black hair, turned partly brown. This helps us recall the definitions of sine, cosine, and tangent. In first part, some people have. Some stands for sine. People stands for perpendicular. Have stands for hypotenuse. 
therefore sine equals perpendicular by hypotenuse. In second part, curly black hair. Curly stands for cos. Black stands for base. Hair stands for hypotenuse. Therefore cosine, cos, equals base by hypotenuse. In third part, turned partly brown. Turn stands for 10. Partly stands for perpendicular. Brown stands for base. Therefore tangent, 10, equals perpendicular by base. In our Excel sheet, we've created a simple table to visualize these concepts. Function, this column lists the trigonometric function, sine, cos, and 10. Base, b the length of the base of the right angled triangle. Perpendicular, p the length of the perpendicular side. Hypotenuse, h the length of the hypotenuse. By inputting values for the base and perpendicular, we can calculate the hypotenuse using the Pythagorean theorem, h equals square root, b square plus p square. To find the base angle, theta, we'll use Excel's inverse trigonometric functions, a sine, a cos, and a ten. However, these functions give us the angle in radians. To convert radians to degrees, we'll use the degrees function. Here's how you can do it. To find theta using a sine, equals degrees, open first bracket, a sine, open first bracket, p by h, close first bracket, close first bracket. To find theta using a cos, equals degrees, open first bracket, a cos, open first bracket, b by h, close first bracket, close first bracket. To find theta using a ten, equals degrees, open first bracket, a ten, open first bracket, p by b, close first bracket, close first bracket. By using these formulas, you can easily calculate the angle in degrees and use it in your further calculations. Then, we can apply the trigonometric functions to find the values of sine, cosine, and tangent. Let's try a few examples. Trial 1a, function, sine. Base, b, equals 1 meter. Perpendicular, p, equals 1 meter. Hypotenuse, h, equals 1.414 meters. Calculated p by h equals 0 0.707. Sine, p by h, equals 0 0.650 radians. Base angle theta equals 45.00 degrees. Trial 1b, function, cos b by h equals 0 0.707 cos b by h equals 0 0.760 radians base angle theta equals 45 degrees trial 1c function 10 p by b equals 1.000 10 p by b equals 1.557 radians base angle theta equals 45 degrees since the base angle theta is the same it proves our calculation is perfectly all right trial 2a function 10 now i am changing the value of base from 1 meter to 1.5 meters perpendicular p1 meter Hypotenuse, h, equals 1.803 meters. p by b equals 0 0.667. 10, p by b, equals 0 0.787 radians. Base angle theta equals 33.69 degrees. Trial 2b, function, 
cos b by h equals 0 0.832 cos b by h equals 0 0.673 radians base angle theta equals 33.69 degrees trial 2c function sign p by h equals 0 0.555 sign p by h equals 0 0.527 radians base angle theta equals 33.69 degrees since the base angle theta is the same it proves our calculation is perfectly all right trial 3a function sign now I am changing the value of the perpendicular from 1 meter to 2 meters hypotenuse h equals 2.5 meters p by h equals 0 0.800 sign p by h equals 0 0.717 radians base angle theta equals 53.13 degrees trial 3b function cos b by h equals 0 0.600 cos b by h equals 0 0.825 radians base angle theta equals 53.13 degrees trial 3c function 10 p by b equals 1.333 10 p by b equals 4.132 radians base angle theta equals 53.13 degrees since the base angle theta is the same it proves our calculation is perfectly all right conclusion trigonometric functions in excel are not only useful for mathematical calculations but also serve as powerful tools for solving real world problems by understanding the relationships between the sides of a triangle and the angles you can use excel to simplify and automate complex trigonometric computations that's a wrap on today's excel adventure in this tutorial we've explored the fundamental trigonometric functions in excel we've seen how to calculate sine cosine and tangent using the sine cos and tan functions respectively we've also delved into their inverse functions a sine a cos and a tan which help us find angles from given side ratios it is important to remember these functions work with angles in radians by converting degrees to radians you'll be able to solve a wide range of problems in engineering physics and other fields please show your support by liking sharing and subscribing your feedback is invaluable so feel free to leave a comment below with any questions or suggestions together let's unlock the full potential of excel thank you for watching and happy calculating